G'day, well, the Harley Road Show. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're regular, welcome back. Well, we're down here at GRM Performance in Hopper's Crossing uh, with Romy, and we're on the build of this uh, magnificent soft tail that we've got here, soft tail standard. So what's on the agenda today? We've come down to have a look at it, and uh, I can see the frames up on the bench there. What are we doing? Well, um, it's um, day one of build. Yep. So far till you got here because you're late. Um, I already installed the swing arm, uh, just mock it up and um, installed the um, progressive suspension and a few other bits and pieces in the, on the frame. So um, we, we're getting now to the point when uh, um, I'm, I'm about to start installing the um, stem, head stem bearings and um, uh, triple tree. Uh, we also got here on the bench, as you can see, we got the engine and the gearbox um, back from the ceramic coders. Yep. We have boxes and boxes of ceramic coated parts. Everything was ceramic coated on this engine, uh, which is, yeah, it's, this is quite an extensive uh, process uh, that we discussed before. Yep. Um, so, um, yeah, we basically... I we'll have a mountain of parts <laughs> and a few, quite a few days booked in already. And um, yeah. So guys, if you thought the last build was pretty impressive, this thing's on steroids. So what are we doing today, mate? Well, I'm just about to install the, the head stem bearings. Yep. I'm cleaning up all the paint around here and all the sand bits of sandblasting left yep. from the sandblasting process and uh, have to press in the bearings yep triple tree shocks and they'll be it for today i think yeah we'll do that and cool. then we have more to come next week next week will be a big job well done yeah front end on front end is on now this is a, again from performance. Yeah, the from this performance machine. Yep. Uh, the lower leg, it's different brand. Yep. Um, the valves inside, they're still highly genuine. Yep. Pro progressive springs, um, the upper legs, they one brand, the lower brakes another brand, the covers are another brand, <laughs> the triples are another brand. Yep. So they, um, yeah, they made from uh, a few different brands. Now, 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 you were saying before that you could actually buy a small mo a, a, a actual motorbike for the price of these. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. It's a few grand there. Um, yeah, you can definitely buy a cheap bike for the money that this front end costs. Just the front end without the wheel. Yeah, yeah. You, if you put the wheel and, and two, then yeah, you definitely got to get a good bike. <laughs> yeah, crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's just, yeah, but it looks good. Looks really, really good. So, and this is all uh, black chrome. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, black anodized. I mean, not quite sure how they do it. It's yeah, it's some sort of ceramic coating. Yep. Yeah, it's like ceramic coating. Okay, guys. So we're back down at Ghost Riders. So, uh, unfortunately, we've been in lockdowns and all that sort of stuff over the last week or so. Um, so what we've, in that time, what we've been able to do is the, uh, the engine's come back. Uh, Romy's been able to put it back into the frame and everything. I know um, this, we're sort of jumping ahead a little bit here, but unfortunately that's the way life is at the moment. So here we are, back in the frame, back with the professor, uh, and uh, have a look at this. It looks fantastic. Obviously I showed you the wheels as well, but they're, they're on now. Have a look at this. Look at that. So, Mr. Romy, what have we been up to? Obviously quite a bit. Uh, yeah, well, uh, um, in the last um, week or so, we reassembled the motor. Yep. Um, to be honest, it's, it's a very time-consuming, quite boring process <laughs> um, uh, for... Um, to film. To film, yeah. <laughs> um, it's just, um, we basically reassembled, shimmed everything, it's a lot of uh, measuring involved and a lot of um, time-consuming uh, assembly, disassembly, check clearances and all that. The bottom end 
took a surveyor five hours just to assembly because we had to put it about about five times to shim it. Yep. Uh, which is to to achieve the exact clearances, the tolerances they in between between three thousands of an inch. So the precision is quite high. Um, now we did put the motor part uh, together. Sorry, as you see, uh, we did. Um, so this, this is the motor here. So what what actual this, this is an SNS motor, correct? Um, no, it's not an SNS motor. Okay. It's an SNS 124 upgrade kit. Okay. For the stock motor. Yep. Um, and obviously, when you jump from a 65 horsepower to 135 horsepower motor, you need to upgrade a few things. Um, so we basically replaced everything, all the internals of the motor. Mm -hmm. They've been replaced completely. The only thing that we saved was the block. Okay. Um, and obviously, this is all, that's all been painted. And everything now. Um, yeah. There's yeah. not painted. There yeah. was actually polished and ceramic coated. We yeah. originally we. We decided to paint it, but then um, having a few conversations with the customer, uh, we did explain him that we cannot guarantee if it's painted, if it's not going to get sandblasted by the, you know, the rocks and the yep. debris on the roads, and because the paint is soft, yes. and then um, he asked us to go for ceramic coating, which, <laughs> to be honest, it was a. Um, much more pain in the rear than I thought it was, would be eventually because uh, the amount of effort that um, um, people put into achieving this uh, particular task was quite enormous. Um, and I want to thank this. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to take Paul uh, to thank Paul from uh, In Motion Polishing yep. that um, he spent nearly a week polishing this block. Holy cow! <clears throat> yeah, it was it was quite a quite a bit of a challenge for him, and he was just about to give up mentally. <laughs> Said, "Mate, this is this is a, a monumental task because uh, we have to take all the wrinkles off. Um, when you paint, you can use you know a bit of primer and all that just to smooth out the surface. Yep. But when you ceramic coat, the ceramic coating is just a few microns thick, so it's like chroming. So you have to polish the surface first, and that makes it um, makes it quite challenging." Um, yeah, so um, we've done all that, and um, we assembly all the all the running gear. Now we uh, down to assembling the final transmission, the primary transmission, and final transmission. So we're going to put the chain conversion on, and we're going to put the primary back on, and um, did a few things again to help to set up some clearances and all that because there's a lot of aftermarket stuff that we installed. Um, again, from the primary. Every, all the internals of the primary, they've been replaced with performance parts. Yep. So basically, the only thing that we saved again is the aluminium case. Everything else is replaced completely. So we're replacing the, uh, the torque converter, we replaced, we replaced the clutch completely uh, with new hub and everything. We install, we're installing a Scorpion clutch kit, um, heavy duty primary chain. Um, yeah, so the list just goes on and on. Yeah, it's I have a lot of boxes to un <laughs> to unbox today. So yeah. So guys, I hope look uh, we'll continue on with the build now. I mean, even look, even these uh, wheels and stuff that have gone on just look sensational. And they were from Ride Right, weren't they? Yes. Yes. Yeah, look, fantastic. Even the the accents on the uh, on the forks and that just outstanding. So let's get into it. Let's keep going. Uh, and get into this build a bit more. Um, guys, let us know in the comments. You know, if you've got any questions or you want to ask us that, let us know and we'll happy to answer them as best we can. But uh, other than that, let's get into it and keep going. Look at this. Fatties. And these are Carlini, correct? Yeah. Look at These out. are the, the pinnacle of uh, expensive. This bars, they're really good quality though. But man, the idea is poison. Look at the quality of the paint oh, job. No, look at it. Have a look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Best part I got rid of that box. <laughs> <laughs> it was driving me nuts.
It's like Christmas. Christmas <laughs> in July. <laughs> This has to be permanently locked in position because they have a bad habit of loosening up. Mm -hmm. so you want to make sure they stay there. You don't want these bolts to get loose for any reason. So we're doing the PM calipers again? Yep. Very nice. Okay, so we've got the chain on. Got the, uh, what else are we doing now? We've got the, obviously got the bars on. We've done the, um, I put the cover on the, on the gearbox. Yep. The, keyboard, the gearbox cover is on. Yep. And now, um, got the starter on. Starter on. And Brakes. Then, yeah, the caliper. Yep. And now we down to, I have to do the primary, to assembly the primary. Yep. Which will be a fair big job because yep. uh, we're putting a high-performance clutch in it and I have to set, or set all that up and the, also the um, high-performance torque converter. Yep. I have to do all that. And um, yeah, that's the primary. <laughs> and then we just have to put the fluids in and the primary, all the transmission is complete. All good. Then we'll go back into the motor um, to do the oil cooler and all that. Which is part of the. We're gonna put so we're going with those ultra cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, well, it's a big ass model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, need, you need to cool it down somehow. So yep. yeah, definitely we're going to put an old cooler to it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's yep. get keep going. We're ready, mate. So this is the high performance. Uh, this is the high performance um, torque converter. Yep. It's um, a bit of an expensive kit, uh, but. Pretty good quality. Yep. High end stuff. That should keep up with the extra torque that the motor delivers. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully, we'll give uh, our customer a smooth ride. In this for years to come. For years to come. <laughs> That's right. Scorpion clutch conversion. Made in the US of A? Oh, yeah. So what do you think they're doing here, mate? I know there's, there's extra springs in this kit. What, what's the... Well, they're different setups uh, depending on the horsepower of the bike. Yep. You can go harder springs or softer springs. Yep. So that's what it is. We have uh, three sets of springs. We got the softer ones, which they come in the, I think they the softer ones. Yep. have to check, but the uh, softer ones comes already installed, or the medium ones. And then you got the really heavy duty ones. Mm -hmm. So they're all in, and you can also do combinations in between to, to set up it for the right. Uh, you want the minimum um, pressure, yep. so it's not too heavy on the hand, but also you want the, Enough the clutch to, yep. to, to hold together, yeah, so yep. it doesn't slip, so. Okay. <coughs> That's where we, we're going to try first with a softer version mm -hmm. and see where we throw this when we put it on the dyno. And if it starts slipping, then we'll take the cover and just change a few springs and set it all up. Okay. So it's not too heavy on the hand. Yep. You know. So what 
So which springs did you go with in the in, in, Sorry? Which springs did you end up going with? I got one for the medium. Medium, yep. Yeah, there should be plenty. Um, if it's not, we can always add more. Yep. It's not a problem. Perfect. Done. Done? And done. Done and done. Put the cover on, put the oil in, that's it. And we're all good to go. Pretty much. Hey, good. I mean, we're not quite good to go. But yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> at least primary, it's done. Yeah, primary's got done. Yeah, yeah. That's been good, isn't it? Like, I mean... Just, it just looks so good with the, you know, the matching chain and everything. Yep. And these Scorpion clutches, you reckon they're the good stuff? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty good quality. Yeah? Yep, yep. They're obviously, like anything else, there's one more than one way to do a yep. job. Um, it's a very good product. Um, pretty popular on the high-performance um, shops. Um, people love it. It's, it's a good clutch kit. Yep. And we've got the, also the... Um, up, we upgraded all that too, didn't we? Yeah, the, um, so the um, torque converter has is, is been upgraded and we also um, done a few mods um, to the charging system, all that to accommodate the. So we used the um, Dyna um, torque converter uh -huh. on, on this system, so we had to change the magneto yep. to suit the application. So this is not for us, he got this out of a diner to put on a soft towel, correct? Yeah, yep. uh, well, it's a, it's a bit of a Frankenstein, right? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It'll be a monster in any way. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we going to do here, mate? We'll just uh, give it a quick, quick spin, make sure the, all the system are, all the systems are working. Yep. Just turn the motor a couple of times, that's it. Can you give me a hand? Yeah, sure. Just hold this, please. Don't want to drop it and do something silly. Now, for all those people that are always criticising I don't do anything on the bike, this, yeah, that's it. this is what I do. I'm like the SAS of Harley oh. builds. Okay. <laughs> Mr. SAS, you just hold that properly. Don't drop it. This is, this is high-tech stuff I'm doing yeah, here. Yeah, that's it. So complicated. Hey, not, just imagine if I wasn't here. <sighs> I then reckon you, the, whole to... build, the whole build will, back, will go backwards. <laughs> Then you'd have to ring me, try and find out where I am. Yeah. I could be working on another bike somewhere. Oh, yeah. You ready? Another specialist, yep. You ready? Yep. Let's see. Uh, that's what it's supposed to do. See? As loud as it is, that's yep. what it's supposed to do. See? Yeah, that's it. Thanks God you're here. <laughs> Just putting the finishing touches on the primary here, got it all together. Obviously the chain's gone on, bars have gone on. We had a pretty good day, yeah? Yep. That's it. What are we up to next? Um, we're going to put the, all the wiring together and um, oil cooler. Yep. And um, I'll probably do the oil cooler first. And um, yeah, we'll have to move into the um, um, oil tank and um, other stuff, but that's still under debate if we're going to paint it or not. Yep. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And we've got the, uh, the forward controls and everything there ready to go too? That they have to go on too. Yep. So that we'll, do, we'll do all that. Um, uh, next time. Yep, cool. Guys, again, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Harley Road Show. I think the bike is looking fantastic. Have a look at this. It looks sensational. We've got Sammy over there getting all the wiring prepped. Look at him, eh? He just doesn't stop. He's like the Duracell bunny. If you enjoyed this, give us a big thumbs up and a like. We'll catch you next time on the Harley Road Show. See you all then. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>